If you're looking for salt beef bagels, the kind you'd find in New York in the US or Brick Lane in the UK, then you have come to the right place because these are incredible. These are our salt beef bagels. Now the process can take up to a week. Oh good. But each bit is really simple. I've done all the stages for you. I was so going to say, because <laughs> my, my week is jam-packed. So. <laughs> we're going to blitz through this. What we're going to have is our brisket of beef, which we're then going to cure in a brine. We make from salt, sugar and some spices. Then we cook that in a stock with some vegetables. And then once it's cooked, then we serve it in the bagels with mustard, mayonnaise and gherkin. Wow. Okay, so not many ingredients. And a very simple process, but it does take a long time. And a hell of a lot of salt. We'll come back to that in a minute. First of all, the beef. So this is brisket of beef, which is a quite a tough cut. Okay, so you need to cook it for a long time. But before we cook it, we need to brine it. Okay, so right. to do that, we make our brine, which involves lots and lots of sea salt. I was told salt's bad for you. Well, it is, but it was... That much, looks like it's going to kill you. <laughs> well, yes, you would never eat that, and it probably okay. would kill you. But it's a method of preservation. Okay. okay, and obviously it's very important in that process. Sugar, to balance that out. Yeah, oh. it's good for you. <laughs> now it's really healthy. And then to add to that, we've got some spices. So I added flavour, we've got some star anise, we've got some cloves, and we've got some peppercorns. Plus a couple of bay leaves. So lots going on. All we need to do now is dissolve all of that salt and sugar in two litres of water. Oh, oh, oh. Like that. That needs to boil. When it boils, you've got a brine, okay? Then you need to cool the brine down until it's completely cold. And when it's completely cold, you're left with something that looks like this. Oh, you have done it all. I have done it all because that takes a little while to get cold. And then you can put the brisket into the brine. Here's one that's been in there for three days. You can keep it in the brine for up to a week. And the longer you keep it in there, the saltier it will be. How different the texture is. What the mm, brine does so is kind really of draw that's out the moisture. Solid and that's really soft. Yeah, oh, it's I drawn see. out all that wow. moisture. And at this point, you need to put it into a cold water bath, just like a big bowl of cold water, okay? And that'll get rid of the excess salt. Right. For a couple of hours or so, and then put it into a stock pot. With the stock pot, we now need to add lots of flavour. So, carrots, celery, onion, garlic. Between us, if we can just kind of roughly chop all of that up. I had the most amazing salt beef bagel a little while ago on Brick Lane. Known for those it. ones are intense. It's all about Brick Lane. I love it there. Start the morning with a beef bagel and finish it with a curry. Indeed. Oh. Great food on Brick Lane. But you know, they are right. It's very salty. It's the same process they used to make corned beef, pretty mm -hmm. much. So have a very similar texture. Mike, can you peel up and crush those garlic cloves? You. The thing with this, because it's a stock, it doesn't need to be too precise. It's just rough and ready. So where are salt beef bagels from? It's a Jewish thing, I believe. Yes. Is it? Very big in New York. So we'll start putting all of those in and around our beef. And some Barry, garlic. big jug. If you yep. can run back and get some cold water. Oh, run! No running in the kitchen, it's dangerous. Yes, man. Some celery as well. That all goes in. This is just adding flavour. This is a basic veg stock to go around our beef. And a very coarsely chopped onion. Water. Good, just enough to cover the beef. So lots of vegetables. Obviously, we're not going to put any salt in this. The beef is plenty salty enough. There's a lot of beef here, so how many is this going to serve? There'll be plenty because it goes a long way because it's quite a strong flavour. So there'll probably be enough here for a good four or six bagels at least. At this point, we need to bring it up to the boil and simmer it very, very gently mm -hmm. for about three hours. So you can see this whole process takes quite a while. Fortunately, oh. here's one that's been going for about three hours. You guys are going to make some mayonnaise to go with this. So with our bagels, a mustard mayonnaise and yep. gherkin. So if you can just combine the mayonnaise with half of that mustard. Half the mustard. This is whole grain mustard, yeah? Yep. So not quite as strong, but a really good flavour and the flex of mustard seeds looks great. All the mayo, give it a mix up. Now Mike, come and have a look at this beef. We just take the string off. And because it's been salted for all that time and then cooked for all that time, it should literally it just smells. fall apart now. So if I cut through there, wow. can you see that, how fibrous yeah. it is? Absolutely awesome, exactly what we want. It smells good. So I'm smells just going to kind of break it up. Do you want to slice our bagels in half? Ooh, Look nice. at that. You lift the bagels up. Right, bagels are being lifted up. Sink, crumbs. It's so all that oh. presentation, right? Now you can lay your three on there. We're going to put loads of these gherkin spears on there like so. A good dollop of our mustard mayonnaise. I can't wait to eat this, Ben. I'm sure it's going to taste amazing. <laughs> You're not sneaking bits, are you? No. That's not fair. You need to wait, you need to wait, you need to wait. It's amazing. It's Plenty of this amazing. beef. Just pile that up there. Final bit of parsley. 
There we go, our salt beef bagel. It takes a while, but it's well worth the effort. Sorted. I'm going first, lads. All right. Don't eat too much. And get some of that mustard on. Never quite understood bagels, because why is there a hole in the middle? Just wasted. Now tell us what you actually think of the taste. I love salt beef bagels. I begged them to put me in this video, didn't I? <laughs> you did. <laughs> and that is so good. So good! So good you didn't even bother chewing your mouth before, before speaking. No. Why waste valuable tasting time? Oh. <laughs> uh oh, he's got mayonnaise in his beard. Oh my god. Might take a while. But actual cooking time, minimal. Hmm. We have got to give this a go. That's wrong. I don't care if it's rude to talk to your mouthful. I'm just so excited by this proper bagel. <laughs> I love these. I love them. I like them. Which is why you should like our Facebook page, Sorted Food. Swish. <laughs>